Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Cushing, and today we're going to talk about some of the basics of health insurance. Most people in the United States cover their financial health care needs by buying health insurance policies from health care insurance companies. A health insurance policy is an agreement or contract between the person buying the policy and the insurer supplying the health care policy. The insurer is called the payer because it pays health care providers for the covered services rendered to the insured policyholder. The buyer or policyholder must pay the policy payments, called premiums, to the insurer in order that the policy stays in effect. If the premiums are not paid on a timely basis, the policy will not remain in effect and the insurer will not pay for the medical services rendered to the patient. The policy contains the services covered by the health care insurer. All covered services must be medically necessary, which means that medical treatment was appropriate and rendered in accordance with generally accepted standards of medical practice. Therefore, treatment must be directly related to a patient's diagnosis. It cannot be elective. It cannot be experimental. It must be done at an appropriate level of care and at an appropriate location. Now, the health care policy also contains a list of services which are not included under the policy. Health insurance can be broken down into two general categories, private insurance and government insurance. Private insurance is also called commercial insurance. This is usually obtained by participating in a group plan. Examples of group plans are those that are supplied to a company's employees, a union's members, or local and state employees. These group plans can be purchased by employers from health insurance companies, or a company or government entity can put together its own group plan and self-insure itself. Now, government insurance programs are primarily broken down into four. You have Medicare, which is a federal program that covers citizens age 65 years or over, those with disabilities, and those with end-stage renal disease. Next would be Medicaid. Medicaid is a federal-state partnership that covers citizens with low incomes. Each state's Medicaid program is unique to that state. Third would be TRICARE. This is a federal program that covers dependents of active duty personnel, retired military personnel, and dependents of those who were killed in action. The fourth program would be CHAMP VA. This is the Veterans Administration's civilian health and medical program. It's designed for dependents of veterans with permanent service-related disabilities and spouses and children of veterans who have died from service-related disabilities. Future videos will go into further aspects of healthcare insurance. I hope this helps. Have a good day.